While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came by. When she saw Peter warming himself, she looked closely at him. You also were with that Nazarene Jesus, she said. But he denied it. I don't know or understand what you're talking about, he said, and went out into the entrance. When the servant girl saw him there, she said again to those standing round them, This fellow is one of them. Again he denied it. After a little while, those standing near said to Peter, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean. He began to call down curses, and he swore to them, I don't know this man you're talking about. Immediately the cock crowed the second time. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken to him. Before the cock crows twice, you will disown me three times. And he broke down and wept. Mark, chapter 14, verses 66 to 72. Peter has followed Jesus at a distance, which is better than not following him at all. He's gone to the courtyard of the high priest's house. Jesus is on trial indoors. Peter is going to be on trial outdoors. There's a great comparison between Peter's trial and Jesus' trial. Jesus is before the whole Sanhedrin. All of the Jewish teachers and Pharisees, elders, and he speaks truth to power. Peter has a servant girl say that he is one of Jesus' followers, and yet he betrays Jesus. It's interesting that when Jesus asked Peter to watch and pray with him in the Garden of Gethsemane, on three occasions Peter failed to do so. And now it is on three occasions that he denies knowing Jesus and belonging to him. We can't face and resist temptation in our own strength. If we pray and ask God to help us, it's a massive help to resist temptation, especially the temptation to deny knowing and following Jesus and having a, a potty mouth like Peter does. Cockerels or roosters have a very early start in the morning. At stupid o'clock they can make out their call, their crowing. And when this cockerel crows for the second time, it cuts Peter to the heart. He's sobbing. He realises how much he has let Jesus down. I know which of the two I'm more like. Not like Jesus but more like Peter. He cannot fix this relationship with Jesus that he has broken. The good news of Christianity is that Jesus can fix it. He can put us back into a friendship with him and his father. That's what it is for Peter. Is that what he's done for you also? Father, please fix this relationship so that I can be friends with Jesus. 
I don't want to deny knowing Jesus. I want to stand up for him and speak out for him. Please help me to do that and resist temptation. Amen.